Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Pop Projects, where we take a look at some of the biggest games on the blockchain right now. We're going to be getting into some big gameplay today. We've got a lot of gameplay from a lot of different games, betas. We've got some actual mainnet launch gameplay. We've got um, a game that I think has a lot of potential in terms of entities that we looked at last week. And we've got some NFT sales coming up this week that I think are definitely useful to keep an eye on and put in your calendar, things that have potential. So let's get into today's episode. Okay, let's start with Meta Gear. You know I've been excited for this game coming out for a long while and we finally had mainnet launch and I've been playing it for the past week and I've been really enjoying building the best build possible. I want to be playing at a top level in this game and I think I have the, the build that is going to destroy everybody and it's not even complete yet it's almost there so here's my build so first up we have the weapon which is a beast sky weapon it's an arrow that shoots bows and as you'll see it shoots two more off from the side and all the damage is concentrated on the middle so that's where you really want to get all the hits and it has a hundred percent attack to all equipment so not just this i could have a gadget that does damage and it will apply to that as well which is a, a potential i've got because uh well, you'll see the gadget i've got it's a little bit risky but it's a killer so we've got 100 percent attack to all equipment we've got gadget of cr this crown gadget is insane so it only has 20 percent hp to all wheels which isn't great because it's only a common no rare and but it, it deals double damage for the first eight seconds then it's discarded along with your weapon. So you've got to kill somebody in those first eight seconds. But remember, I've got 100% and then double damage. So it does insane damage. And then we've got the wheels. The next step in me creating something epic. It's so hard to find a wheel that gives 100% to Sky Weapon. I can't find it. I can only find, I've only found these this rare, which actually works really well because yeah, see, I need bigger wheels on the back so it tilts down because what I was finding was I was shooting a lot of people. As you'll see, let's play through um, this, which I've already beaten 14 out of 14, but you'll, I'll, I'll replay it for you guys. Is what, what, ha what was happening is people who had short builds, like I was shooting my arrow over the top of them. So being able to aim down a little bit meant I was getting those hits. And as you can see with this double damage and 100% attack to weapons, I'm absolutely destroying enemies before they get even close this guy got a grapple and got close to me and barely did any damage i also have huge hp what's that build i also have huge hp now that is because i have a a legendary wield piece and that is dealing basically all the damage so uh it does 100 percent damage to to itself so only for that wheel um but I'm looking to hopefully at some point trade it with somebody or sell it and find another one on the market that is 100% attack to Sky Weapons. They're just really hard to find. They've made it a lot easier on the marketplace now. Oh, oh my God, look, he nearly, I nearly killed him. So I actually beat him the, I don't know what, what was different the sec, on this time around, but I beat him the first time around. So we got 14 out of 14 to, for today. Um, but this, if you haven't seen it, it's like an autoplay, just plays through. 14 enemies and you gotta try and try and kill as, as many as possible um maybe it was, i don't know whether maybe the guy boosted his stats and his hp is slightly higher now <laughs> i don't yeah i've got that with that that gadget it pulls you back it boosts you back i don't know how that's beneficial in some situations maybe um yeah so we've got a killer build but it's no way near all the all the way there we have upgraded some of these pieces. If you don't understand the upgrading feature and what it means by um, the rate, I didn't understand what this was. Uh, it wasn't very clear. They've changed it so they, you're not using them. But basically I didn't realize it was using up my gold because uh, it didn't have a counter on it. So now obviously it costs five to upgrade the snow chassis because I've upgraded it to level six. And with that, it'll boost up your health. With my weapon, it'll boost the attack on it. And there is only a there's not a guaranteed chance that you're actually going to be able to upgrade it so by hitting that it means that i increase the chances of it being able to upgrade and i could add these to make it 400 percent uh more likely and those pink ones cost a hell of a lot so you know they, 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 you can actually sell them for a fair bit on the marketplace so meta gear looking really really fun i do really like the uh the, the just the builds 
I mean, obviously I've got a killer build, but we've got 50 games um, every day. And from that, you can earn your, your daily NFT. We get about, because you get 15 blue shards every single time. And then we'll see in a minute once I've completed the next three, you'll then have a thousand and you'll be able to swap that for an NFT box. Now there is 50% chance increase i think 50 percent chance of getting a genesis nft now rather than 25 percent the genesis nfts are limited so get them now if possible because these and they don't have durability this guy's got big health um so get them used up now so that you can so that you can have them for life then otherwise you're gonna get nfts that are just gonna degrade over time so we'll win this fight and then we'll be able to see what we get usually you just get some gold but there is that chance, that chance that you can get a Genesis NFT. Oh, we got, okay, we got a yellow shard. Cool, cool. We'll use that to increase our chances at some point down the line. So, Meta Gear, really happy with this, the launch of it. Um, it's very different from your typical play to earn game where obviously you're earning tokens every single game. It doesn't work that way. It's all about NFTs, which I think is is just from on cue of what this needs to be and also it means that people aren't you know selling off all the rewards it might attract more people but you know you, you can i don't see that being sustainable in the long run it's all about the nfts and having a game that's fun and competitive okay next up we've got a game which i think is just outright pure fun so this is crypto football and the token balls there's the chart for it right here and this is basically a game where you are if you've ever played Tabutio, it's it's exactly that but a crypto based game where you can get rewarded in tokens it's very very early and a massive shout out to jimmy crypto who actually made me aware of this big definitely recommend following on some of these projects that he recommends so uh 2x from the position which he actually recommended it at and he recommended it to me and i didn't i didn't buy anything um because i hadn't i wasn't on my computer i didn't really get to take a look at it and then i saw it went up i think it was like around here i bought in we can see from my market my uh oh, it's in, in my other wallet um me and rob bought some somewhere around here i think actually so we've seen 1.5x that's gone from 1000 when we bought 1000 it gave us 900 dollars worth and then we've taken that to $1,400 now. So that's performing really well. And just because I think it's a game that will attract people to buy because it's fun. And it's obviously very early. So it has a lot of upgrades to come for it. But from the, as I said with him, I said it's got it's got legs because it's got nostalgia to it. And it's, it's pretty fun. And, you know, it does require some skill. So... Let's check it out. Let's just have a little game on it. Um, so, multiplayer wasn't working when I played it. Maybe there wasn't enough people online. But let's just play a solo game against the computer. So you can pick your formation, or you'll have to unlock those. Um, and then you can pick your team. They'll have different stats. So, I think it's like Ecuador or Colombia. Ecuador? Mm, I'll say that. Um... When you would put an entry fee, and you can see they have advertising. Oh, cool! So they've got advertising with Jimmy Cardi Chain Cafe Gallery. So you would aim and shoot, and you'd kick the ball. And the aim, obviously, is to get it in the goal. If it comes near them, they will defend it. Um, what I think it needs is a little bit of a power system, so like, like you could lean back, pull back, or so you can do more damage oh there's a there's a way in goal there oh i could have scored them there's definitely an angle so you gotta be aware of when you're attacking where you're attacking to but also you don't want to get all your players out of position and leave the goal free so you, this is where i'm like oh well this is actually got skill to it and it's fun you know i can imagine playing this pvp i mean he just i just laugh at him uh this has got a bit of all right Got it. Yes! There we have it. A goal. And you've got this timer, so you've got a limited amount of time for you to be able to score this goal. Uh, to score to win the game. I mean, there's absolutely no goal. So you, at this point, you may be like just playing a tactical 
maybe trying to get them over there, get them to put, force them to put their players down here. Yeah, so now he's out the way. Um, probably move him up. He's got, has he got a shot on goal? If he can actually make it. Oh, he did have a shot on goal. A skill move would be to like pass it to a player and then get them, but they don't seem to have enough kick off once you've passed it to them. Um, and I don't want to take my goalie out. Let's do this because then I can put him in position. Oh no, he's gone all the way. <laughs> all right, he's going to run out of time anyway. Oh, wow, well, he would have set me up for a goal. And there we got it. Game done. And there'll be multiplayer. And this is where I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Because obviously they'll be a little bit better. Um, yeah, time, aim, stats. So it was just, I don't know why my name is Guilty Jelly. I quite like it. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to find. Oh, oh, no, I just stopped it. So yeah, I didn't find it. But they've got a lot of improvements. They're updating the website. Uh, go check it out. See, if it's just something that a little bit of fun that I thought was is definitely worthy of Hot Projects because so lo such a low market cap, under half a million, which has yeah, potential to pump. Maybe I should have put a video on this sooner. Um, yeah, because I was made aware of it on April the first. So sorry about that, guys. Missed out on a two X there. Um, yeah, I think I picked up around there. So we made a 1.5x on it, uh, which is obviously really good in this marketplace. But because it's low market cap, you got to watch me when you're selling off and it says 1,400, you're not going to get 1,400 because the price will drop quicker with a lower market cap. Um, so check out, do your research on it, see if it's something you'd be interested in. But a lot of fun, nice little uh, game that has some skill to it. So I always have to see tech different types of games coming into the NFT gaming space. Next up is a game that I think deserves a lot of respect for how quickly they've moved and how good everything functions. So they have a working marketplace. There were blind boxes that you were able to purchase early on that had the NFTs. They had an NFT sale on Binance that went well. And the, the collection includes Dracus, which are the things that you fight with, as well as summoners. These are things that give you a little bit of boost. They're basically like your avatar in game that has some, just a small little ability to help your team out. Uh, they have a breeding simulator as well. So you can work out what the odds are of things if you combine them together are. We have the NFT. This is the testnet version. So I can claim one Dracu. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to move out of the way so you can see all this and all the gameplay. So we have just created a, one with a mystic part. Um, so that you can claim these every, oh, it'll be six hours now. And um, because, because there is tournaments going on, so there is actually rankings going on at the moment within the free to play test net version. So we've got two epics, a mystic part, one rare part, and that will affect the cards that you get and as well as attributes. Uh, so we've got strength, resilience, and health. So if we go into a battle, this is just functions so nicely and it has a not only pvp but it will have pve and the pve looks really good um so you've got to log in you do have to set up an account um with them you can find the the guide to this on their on their twitter page um they put out a nice easy guide to how you can set up and sign up for an account so i'll put a link to that in the description below um but i mean this is really like very very close to Axie but obviously a bit lower entry um, and a bit newer a bit fresher so take a look see if what you think about it the NFTs now the, the floor price for them is actually one B&B turn the sound down a bit um, it's about one B&B at the moment so they they massively shot up when they released the footage for the beta. So we're going through different paths and that will lead to some encounters. And you can see my health's going down on this guy. I need to do some healing. Does anybody have healing powers? So we can take these heal equal to damage dealt. Yes, that would be perfect. Let's take the harvest war and attack this guy. Nice, we've got some heal. He really needs to heal. Um, Pierce targets armor if ocean type. Air effect damage. Chain, chainsaw. Oh, it just takes three energy. Obviously, you've got the on the left hand side here. We've got the amount of energy, so we can only use a one. 
Um, gain an extra 20 coins when killing and this card. The more, more damage, the more actually helping you earn quicker. And then we've got to end pass. Down on right, we've got our discard pile. On the left, we've got our draw pile. So these are the cards we can draw from. So we've got Pounce is good. Pounce is free. And we've got Nature's Force, which gives lose 16 points of help, gain one point of energy, and draw two cards. Exhaust. I mean, I know I don't want to lose health, so oh, <laughs> I've just lost health. <laughs> no. Okay, so we've got four energy to use in this one turn now. Let's apply some Scorch to this guy. Flame punch him. Let's just smash him. And then end our go. I'm going to get hit. Ouch. And evenly redistribute a maximum of 100 points remaining health with target. What? Oh, I had to hit my own to do. <laughs> I lost health. <laughs> oh, I used it all wrong. Um, Air of effect isn't really going to help us. Just do Comet Punch, Flame Punch him, and then skip our go. Please don't kill us, because. Right. Um, no, no, no. Air of effect, recover health equal to damage dealt. I mean, he really doesn't need that, so we'll go with go with pounce. Oh yeah, but these are the cards only apply to certain guys, doesn't it? Yeah. You can do his air of effect, but I'm not going to do that yet because I want to use that to at least give some health to him. And then Bosch. So all your cards get mixed in with each other, and also you can gain a card at the end of the battle. So we've got draw two cards, oh, that's pretty good. Change, another change, so apply two steps of weak and two steps of vulnerable. And that's quite a good card to use up front. Uh, select a pet, let's give it to this guy. Skip, please. Right, oh, next one's mystery or a bag of coins. All right, we go to a shop, this is cool. So you can actually purchase this is great. This is like um, very much kind of like um, if you've ever played Hades. You want to progress in games like this where you're making you have little stops in the way where you can upgrade on your little quest out. So we can move a card for 100. Uh, are these health potions because that would be nice. I do have. Oh no, I don't have enough gold. Oh no. What does that do? Room after bonfire, you choose to obtain a card. Oh, I can hover over it. No, click it. Yeah, there we go. Draw one extra card when the turn begins. You get an extra four points of armor. Playing four cards of love, but I have double damage. Okay, that could be good. Anybody got heal? 80%. Oh, choose one hand card to discard. Why would I do that? It does 10 damage, so I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to need some health. I don't think we're going to make it very far. Um, okay, so the question mark now. Walking on the path in such torrid heat, you and your Dracula buddies are extremely tired and thirsty. Suddenly you see a small mountain spring under a cliff not far from you, so you rush to it with the last bit of strength. Do you drink the spring water? Nothing. I mean, I'm drinking it, because with biscuit, drink the mountain spring whilst eating biscuits. That's not a choice because I don't have a biscuit. I don't care if it's contaminated, I need to take the risk. Some might say it's weird, but being so tired and thirsty, you don't really have the time to think that much. Recover 10 health points, and reduce maximum health points, boom. Yes. I like this, so they've got those little consequences, choices to make. Okay, so we'll see if we can progress further. Yeah, I love this. I think this PvE, they've, they've absolutely played this exactly how you'd want this to look. Uh okay, okay, let's go for a pound straight off. Do that for free. Steal some damage, discard uh hand the card that we're not need don't need. Buy two stacks stacks of anti-heal. And now we'll, we'll get rid of that. Um Right, let's go with comet punch and then tide area of effect damage and then end shame we can kill him because he's gonna get an attack on us. Ouch. Ouch. Kill him, let's go. Lose 16 points of health, gain one point of. No, we don't want to do that. 
Evenly redistribute maximum of 100 points of remaining health with target. There we go. Oh, so you can't actually use that. Evenly redistribute maximum 100 points. Wait, is that better if, if somebody has high health and you have low health? Yeah. Lose 16 points of health. No, we don't really want to do that. Oh, my stacks are weak. Raw, that's good. Air effect, that'll kill them with the weak. What? What did that do? I didn't do anything. What did I, what did I do? Did I give them armor? Oh, I, I think I may have given them armor. And uh, armor just broke. Um, okay. Area of effect for cover health equal to damage dealt. See, this guy's fine, but he's, this, he doesn't need that. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, one, let's just go for a... Let's go for Vault, because we want those 20 coins. That's a good card to have in this, actually. Ah, oh, no! We lost our first Draku. Pounce on them. Just chainsaw him. Uh, apply 99 stacks a week to the target. Exhaust. Oh, my God. Look at that. That card. Great card. And once you've got 10, you can actually play in the arena. I haven't actually got to that yet. And we've got a legend down here, so we see a random event will trigger. Store chamber. Artifact chamber. Bonfire chamber. And regular enemy. An elite enemy. Oh, yeah. I'm face any of that. Right, we've got a shop, which is not going to offer us anything, because... Unless you've got a sale, I'm a friend. Draw two cards. 80%. Wow, that's, that's not a deal. Let's go buy it. Rubbish. So we're only seven, seven out of forty-one along the way. Oh dear. Let's do a random event. Oh, the random event was a shop. Can't help us. This is a bonfire chamber. You can have some rest. Yes. Can I heal? Enhance your skill effect. Rest would co cover to all live. Ah, oh, all living dracus. Oh no. Yes, he heal. You're walking on the narrow path, which is difficult to reinforce. You accidentally step onto moss and slip. You fall off the precipice. Wish to catch me. Oh god. I've lost some health in order to catch them. The swimmer is way too heavy. Let's go for. Oh, we have to face these. So I think you'll agree, this is a really accomplished piece of work. The game looks great. I wish I remembered that I had health from a summoner effect, plus six. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited for the mainnet launch. So if we go to uh, switch my testnet to mainnet, we'll be able to see my main account here. So these are the NFTs that I have currently. Um, I have two Mystic up for 20 BNB. Anybody, anybody want that? Uh, they have their marketplace available. It's beautiful. You can search from breed count to pureness. Um, I believe I have a pure. So the pure lowest price for one of those is 3.88 BNB. And then the lowest price for a two, um, two not breed count, two mystic units is currently, I think is what I've got it at. Oh no, I got it at 20, didn't I? <laughs> definitely like that. It's five. Um, so five BNB. So there's a lot of BNB in these NFTs that I already have potentially. Um, if I chose to sell them, but I'm holding them because I'm really excited for this game. I think it looks great and I'm looking forward to breeding and I'm going to use that to breed better ones and hopefully buy some of other people. Or you know, if you have any that match my NFTs that look like they'll be a good that will be a good breed. If you want to breed with my Mystic and you have something that also has Mystic parts, let me know and we'll like collaborate and breed them together and we'll share the profits. And so I've got, this guy is my only pure one. So he's a bit rubbish. He's got three rare parts, but he is pure. He is pure of heart and abilities. So um, that is something that obviously is said is 3.88 is the lowest price for that. So potentially us breeding out two of those in the breeding would give us, you know, 3.88 times two if we bred two times um, to distribute each. So 3.8 BNB each. So if you do want to breed, not with me, I was going to say, to breed with my Dracu, 
then yeah get in touch if you have a, a, a plant that part that has plant draku that has all six parts and if we go back to the dashboard we can see that um, we do have an earnings level the earning rate that that determines and the maximum earnings of the day so this is going to have a token uh, which you're obviously going to be able to buy and sell and so that's going to be a big draw to this as well that people will potentially be playing to be able to earn tokens that they can sell and make some money okay let's get into the next project and then finally we have incarnate a game that we covered a while back this is a tactical hero collector rpg with deep mechanics where you can take ownership of your characters in the form of nfts i really like the look of this game if you haven't seen it go check out the video that we did on this now you got two of me so this game does have a it genuinely does have deep mechanics into it this isn't just a turn-based game where you look you know face-to-face -face 2d battler this is complex 3d characters nfts that you can position on the board you can move around and use their effects so you might have a damage that does you know damage in a line and therefore you use that position yourself nicely you can take out a lot of enemies with it you might have something that's area of effect you might have something that is just single damage to somebody but they're all going to have a variety of different skills, different effects. You can affect the landscape that you're on. So you can actually raise platforms or lower it. Um, and yeah, just having played through it, the, the early gameplay access that we got, it just looks really fun. Off screen, me and Pl Rob play a lot of games like this. So we've just played Expeditions Rome. That was brilliant. Actually, definitely recommend that game, even though it's not NFT based. Um, but if you played games like XCOM, XCOM 2, then this game really is going to be for you because it taps into that same quality um, that that genre has to it. So yeah, I'm really excited for this project. And they have their Primal Incarnate Mint. So mint price is 0 0.08, so it's going to be quite high entry. It is ETH, um, which you know I hate, but this is a project that I'm definitely going to get in involved on the mint. I'm going to mint at least one um, because I want to be be able to play this game and have these primal nfts these primal nfts will not be available um after this sale they're only going to be available during this sale uh, so we're gonna to have to cancel that because we've got something else open um so we're all connected all you have to do is connect your twitter and you don't have to actually commit to having purchasing any of these by the way this is just the the registration for it uh so the social account's been connected and then we can connect to their discord which we can authorize now and if we go back to it it's automatically so i'd already joined the twitter and discord and some of you may have as well um, but you can see already signed up now i'm not a robot click to register now you will have to earn an allow list spot you've got until the 6th they will be giving these out on discord so as you can see maxwell verdi one of the uh, moderators there says you can this will allow you to pre-mint um, one of the primal NFTs. There will be a public one anyway if you miss out on this. They'll give allow list all the time to, to, and have other communities giving them away too. So you can check giveaways for information on that. I'm going to see if I can get a spot and get some to give away. I'm going to have a chat and know one of the moderators um, as obviously we've worked with this project before. And uh, Hopefully we can get some to give away. Uh, and if we do, we'll include, and we've got no watch day, we've got no sponsored content. This isn't sponsored. Um, I'll ask them if they, they have any spots to be able to give away to us that we can work in the next day so we can mint in time. Um, yeah, we'll see, see what they say to that. Um, if they do have that, I'll put it in the comment section below. So check that. I'll put it pinned. Okay, well, that's all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a really interesting week, I think, in terms of releases with betas and mainnets. I think there's other games that are worthy of a mention. Metheria, you know I'm very bullish on that. Spent a lot of money in terms of buying the NFTs. Spent about $10,000 on the NFTs. Uh, so very, very bullish on that. It's not token-wise, token it's dropped massively, but... I've been playing the beta, the beta looks really fun and didn't get a chance to show off today because I had a couple of things that I wanted to show you that I think are more um, more purchase investable in terms of picking up some NFTs for it uh, because they have marketplaces that are live and yeah so we'll probably cover that, we'll look to cover that next week, the beta does look really really good. Uh, we've got also Castle Crush that we did a video on. I've been enjoying playing that on the mobile, even though it's non-NFT at the moment. I'm just buying stuff and uh, playing, playing it to be able to get ready for that when it does. Um, so yeah, that's been a lot of fun. And it's been nice to see the mobile games coming into the NFT gaming space. So 
token wise we're looking i think everything's looking a bit bullish a bit more bullish than things have been we've seen a big drop that in token prices for things like gear uh they 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 kind of mentioned it as a bit like a purification um of of their core game group you know so we've got people who are playing and buying these nfts and then we've got people who are selling them off who for, for profit people who are have been holding the token for a long time just back in the game and now are selling off because uh, we made big gains from, from where the token was and started at so it's still at it's pre-sale price i think it's still at 5x um we have myra which isn't performing great compared to where it was uh three dollars fifty but we see it at 13. We see it in a little slight recovery now, having have to having dropped to 10 cents. It's on the back on its way up. The release of the beta. I'm feeling very bullish at the moment about projects in, in tokens. You know, we have our. This is just my little wallet that I send out watch to earn rewards and stuff from, and get some money into uh, to purchase NFTs. So our main account I'm, I'm starting to be like we bought picked up some of those balls i'm starting to feel a little bit more bullish on some of these tokens and you know it, i'm starting to feel vibes of where we were in may i think it was uh after may where a bit after may where the to where the, the market started to recover and game fire absolutely exploded and we saw tokens like i picked up revam on at eight cents and that went up like one dollar um mist was at three cents i think and then i got it all the way up to 33 cents we saw a lot of tokens boom and I'm, I'm wondering if we're gonna start to see that i think definitely in the next six months some of these tokens that we're looking at some of them will boom and yeah hopefully you're holding some uh, you definitely spread your tokens across different different coins uh if we say you know if anything to the ron market was anything to go by so the hack that happened there you know spread your investments across multiple different things not just all into one uh it's, it's a little bit more risky and we're, we're dealing in crypto so um yeah everything's pretty much secure but there are these odd exploits that people find um yeah so Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Give me your thoughts down below on, on some of the projects and also any other projects that you've taken a look at as well that you think is worthy, worthy of a sneak peek. If you have enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you need to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.